Ooh, hoo, hoo, look at this guys. I just picked up a dozen of night crawlers. I got one rod, got some golf clubs, but uh, fishing wise, I've got one tackle box, night crawlers and a jig pole. But, uh, oh yeah, we are in Michigan right now. I'm on a work mission here this week. Gotta come over here and do some work, but uh, always gotta throw a rod and reel wrong and see what, what can we can do. But uh, we just bought a fishing license. I'm um, looking forward to doing this. I'm just gonna be fishing Lake Michigan, coming in with a little river coming in. Heard there's some walleyes, heard there's some bass. Um, even carp, drum, you name it, the catfish. Sounds like there's fish in here. So we are gonna get going here. Um, looking forward to doing something a little bit different, just shore fishing, place I've never been before and see what we can do. So I guess without uh, any more talking, let's get down to the river, let's get casting and see if we can catch just something here tonight. So stick with us, stay tuned. It's gonna be an adventure. where I'm gonna try to start out first. Just got, like I said, a little river here coming in. And uh, I don't know what depth we got at all, but uh, um, I'm gonna start out with, uh, which I could end up breaking off and trying different colors, but I'm gonna try out with a white colored jig head. Um, should be good for any type of fish. Like I said, I heard there was drum, walleyes, bass, carp, catfish, you name it. Sounds like it's in here. Um, this is my first time ever fishing in Michigan. Um, in the UP, actually, I fished Lake Michigan before, but never in the UP. And doing it from shore. So I'm just going to rig the night crawler, break it off in about half, something like that. And uh, yeah, I guess let's uh, let's try flipping out and seeing how deep it really is. Let's see if we can get one here. Eh, definitely a little bit of current. The jig starts swinging down right away. So. Alrighty, I guess we're off tonight and uh, hopefully we can catch my first Michigan fish. Got something. Fish on. Oh, he got a bass. Oh, and I got off. Dang it. Little bass. Hey there, what up? Big loud motor. Now I'm all tangled in this bush. There we go. Dang it. Well, that was the first fish right there. But it got off. Nice small mouth. Well, looked like a little guy, but. I gotta go get my bait and I actually broke off my hook when I got it snagged in the bush there. All right. Hey, it's a fish. We got action. Oh, fish on. Oh yeah, it's gotta be another bass. Oh yeah. Little small mo. There we go. Look at that. First fish in Michigan, baby. Oh, cool. Obviously not a giant by any means, but uh, you know what? When you're fishing from a, from shore and you've never fished here before, I'll take it any day. Definitely got a little chubby belly on them, but cool. Smallmouth. First species of the night. So just got here and oh, I got to toss them back. So cool. That didn't take actually all that long. Just lost the one and the next cast I caught this one. So First fish, awesome. Fish on. Oh, we got 
We got something better on here. What the heck do we got? I think it's a, just a better bass. Oh yeah. Jeez. Wow. Talk about a fight. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a good small ball. Get up in here, Junior. Look at that guy. That is a nice, nice smally. Very cool. Be nice, be nice, be nice. There we go. Look at that guy. Boy, he put up a heck of a fight. But uh, yeah, not a bad little smallmouth. They're pretty in here, nice and gold. I don't know how well the camera's gonna see it, but uh, nice and gold in here and yeah, very fun. Nice little fight actually, so. All right, let's let you go. See you later. Fish number two. Two bass though to start the night. All right, I gotta get myself another night crawler. All righty guys, make a little switch here. I don't know if this is gonna be any good. Ooh. Um, maybe I'll fish right down here by the edge of the sand. Just set the tackle box here. Gotta rig up another night crawler. Just got a couple over there and uh, I thought I'd have to switch it out. So we'll try something a little bit different, but uh, as you can see right there, beautiful Lake Michigan right out there. And we're in the river here, so all right. See if we can get some more fish in a different type of species, maybe even. Fish on. Ooh, another bass. Look at that. First cast over here too. Another, another decent smallie. I mean, they're not giants by any means, but uh, for shore fishing, I'll take this any day. Look to him, really good. There we go. Wow. I've seen some guys getting some drums, so I'm kind of seeing if. Hopefully I can get one, but uh, I mean, I'm not going to complain catching some fish from shore. Just a beautiful smallmouth, and there he goes. Cool, cool. Third fish of the day. Alrighty, cool. Let's get ourselves another night crawler. I got something. Oh, it feels good. Oh, maybe not. It feels, uh, I can't tell. It's fighting pretty good. I think it's a smallie though. Oh. Oh yeah, it's a good small mouth. Oh my gosh. Cool. Oh yes. Oh yes. Back my drag off just a bit. Wow, they fight so good. Oh my gosh. I don't catch very many small molts, so. Yeah, that's a good one. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh. Hello, truck. Look at that smallie. He won't give up. Awesome. Bring him right up on the sand. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh. Cool. I mean, again, I don't catch very many bass, so. But uh, that's actually a decent smallmouth, probably, I don't know, 15, 16 inch smallmouth probably. I think I'm gonna have to grab myself a little picture with my camera and uh, let them go, but beautiful. Look at the light just glimmering on them right now. Alrighty, yeah, took a photo. All right, let's let them go. Cool. Ah, what a beautiful fish. 
there he goes <laughs> sweet oh this is fun only bass so far though no walleye no drum nothing else walleyes yeah anything i don't know maybe it's just more of a bass area but uh that guy hit good i thought it was maybe something different just the way it hit but uh again i don't fish for bass very often or anything like that so that was cool all right let's get a baited back up and see if we can get something something else oh there was a hit there was a hit bet you he took my night crawler you dirty rascal fish was shallower no it's still there huh well guys this is basically what i've been doing so far to catch my fish i just kind of cast it out upstream of the current it's not i mean it's not heavy heavy but um it's enough where it pulls your bait down i'm using only a one one eighth ounce jig head i mean the lighter you can do is always the better i've noticed for fishing and stuff like that it just seems like they can't feel it as much and they don't think it's actually i mean not a actually bait something like that but uh and i just kind of reel up the slack as i go here and just let it keep hitting the bottom mostly trying to keep it on bottom and then just popping it and um I don't know, it seems like once you hit the bottom and then you pop it, it seems like that's when they normally, normally been hitting it. But, uh, boy, there we go, right there. Just pulled it off bottom. This doesn't feel very big, but it's definitely a fish. And uh, look at that. Oh, wow, we caught a different species. <laughs> My first walleye. Look at that. Oh, yes. I love it. Little walleye, but hey, you know what? It's my first Lake Michigan walleye right here in the river. But uh, man, I'd pay money to be in that boat right now going out trout fishing. But look at that. Kind of got a blue fin right up on the top. Pretty little fish. Cool. Hey, look at that. On camera talking and gotten one. So cool. Still got my night crawler and everything. Man, this is just a blast actually. It's a lot better than I guess sitting in the motel. I don't really have much night crawlers left actually. I've had a lot of break offs that I haven't been showing on, on camera or anything like that. But. Uh, I guess it is what it is. I got a couple plastics, could even try, but uh, always got tomorrow to come down here and try again, but cool. Yeah, so just little pops and seems to be the trick. Oh, fish on. Got another bass, I bet you. Just gonna start moving down and fish in a different spot. Yeah, another bass. Not as big as the other ones, but still a fish. Still definitely fun just getting out and I mean definitely don't need much when you're doing this, you know. If I can grab this fish. There we go. Wow, feisty little guy. All right, let's let him go. See you later. There we go. Oh, it's a snake. Dang it. I am on the night crawlers. Dang it. A lot of snags over on the other side there. That's why I moved over here and I am out of night crawlers. Maybe I'll try, I did have a few of these along, just some Kalen's plastics. I'll try that for a little bit, but uh, if I don't catch anything, I will update you here very shortly. I've never caught anything on these, so if I can do something with it. There we go, fish on. Oh, it got off, dang it. I actually tied on the old plastic there and it didn't take very long. Better not drop my rod in. I took about half of it off, just kind of cut it off and uh, I didn't think with the fish that big in here, it'd be all that big or great for it. So jerked it off. So let's just give it a few more tries here before we uh, call it quit here tonight.
there we go fish on oh yeah oh wow what do we have here oh another nice smallie on the plastic here <laughs> oh yes i love this i love this fighting these smallmouth look how hard they fight ah oh. i mean i'm giving them pretty good pullback and he is they are one of the toughest fighting fish i mean i love muskies but man these things fight hard oh yeah look at that smallie oh yes oh sweetness oh look at how he choked that that plastic right in his mouth don't even need night crawlers tried on a yellowish color plastic oh look at that he's got something in his mouth too definitely eating something in there i'm not even gonna pull it out cool awesomeness all right let's let him go <laughs> oh camera just got murked with water there i might have to keep going here just a couple more that is that is that was fun he hammered the plastic there we go fish on <laughs> look at that uh Sweet. <laughs> Small moth. Nice yeah, I've been getting some pretty good ones tonight. And what do you use for bait? I was using some night crawlers, but I actually ran out, so I'm using some Kalen's just a plastic little twister tail, basically. Really? Yeah. Whoa. So. Sounds like fun. Oh yeah, it's a blast. There he is. Man, now they're. Seems like they're just getting better and better here. See you later. <laughs> they zoom off quick. Oh, it's hard to, might have to just keep staying. It's almost 9.30. Gotta make another cast yet. Gotta make another cast. Seems like this Kalen's here, they've had a couple hits and misses, but haven't had it on very long and they seem to really like this almost over the night crawler but probably gives me better odds to catch bass over walleyes doing this or anything else but uh i didn't really know what to expect coming down here and i mean never being here and catching some fish is definitely pretty worth it here just letting it hit the bottom now i'm really popping it hard i watch a few bass videos and stuff like that i don't I'm not an expert by means but i know just giving the legs little pops like that off the bottom it just looks like a little worm twiddling down there so Seems like they are right, pretty much right here where the sand kind of ends. They're right there, and I think there's some rocks right below it. So I think they're just stacking up right there. And I mean, it's not every cast, but it uh, seems like I'm getting hit or having some action every cast. So one more, one more, and I'm done. One more. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up here. I am actually in the car already. Um, successful little night of fishing here, being out on Lake Michigan here in a little inlet creek that comes in and uh, caught some bass, got one walleye. Um, I did catch even a rock bass off camera, but um, heard there's some drum. I'd love to get back after this river here. Maybe I'll try to do it in a day or two. Um, like to do a little more exploring being in town, but um, yeah, I'd like to see if I can maybe catch a drum or something like that, something I've never caught before. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big old thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure.